I was um, uh, 17 years old. Um, uh, I was study psychology, uh, sorry, and plastic surgeon. And then I lost my uh, vision uh, through a suicide bomb. And I have three brothers also, they are injured. Uh, I went to coma 12 days. I don't know where am I. I lost my nose. Uh, shrapnel hit me here and then moved all my cheek. Uh, my family, they thought I'm dying and then they did the furanol because 12 days they don't know any news from me. They did the furanol and then they did the paper from the government and then they thought I'm, I'm gone. But thank God I'm still alive. Uh, after that, uh, uh, nothing to do as, uh, in Iraq. Nothing. Just uh, sitting at home, uh, like, I don't know, even like they, my family, they don't like move to do nothing. Just, uh, I get uh, like, like, not depression, I can't call it depression, but because I have faith of God, he will, one day he will open the door. Uh, after two years, uh, the opportunity to come to me, and then Doctor Without Borders. If you all know Doctor Without Borders, uh, they treat the people who get injured in a war. And then I went to Jordan. Uh, after that, I went as patients, and then uh, after six <coughs> uh, six months, I came counselor there help others. Uh, what my job, you will uh, probably all ask what he do there. Uh, I, what I do, uh, the person before they do surgery for him, they come talk to me, to go talk to him, to prepare him for the surgery. Because the surgery there, it's not just small surgery like one hour, two hours. It's take like amputate leg or arms or something removed from the body. And then when you move something from your body, it's not easy for you. Uh, anyway, and then I spent very three years volunteer doing there and come to America. When I decided to come, I just, I need open a new life. And then I come here in 2012, in the end of 2012. When I came, I don't know any English. Just, hi, how are you? Nothing else. Uh, I know a few bad words, my friend uh, 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 Steve taught me, uh, he's a professor at an uh, university of, in Jordan. Before I came, he said, Hussein, I need to teach you something before you go. I need to teach you all the bad words there, because if you, some, you walk and somebody tell you a bad word, you know to answer to him. <laughs> I said, okay, well, I learned it, but thank God I never use it, which, um, thank God. Uh, you know, and then I come here and then I start with the church, uh, teach me English, and then ESL, and then I get my GED, I get second uh, high score in the region. I graduate in this year actually. And then right now I am steady. I take one of my courses with Dr. Blanca, and then I'm, you know, I'm uh, hitting my ball. My, uh, like, told you all uh, that to how we can challenge the obstacle. And then today I would like to share some with you a little bit of like practice. And then we will see, we tested together as last uh, study, they did that and then help us, like help to move in our life if we are sad or we are. First of all, I would like to ask you, ask you all, if, if I probably use questions weird, if I told one of you all, if you want if I give you meal of cockroach and then you eat it, I give you 100. Who like to eat it? The person who like it just raise his hand. Someone? No. no? How about 200? Well, one, Jeremy raised his hand. One guy raised his hand. Okay, one. How about 500, guys? This is plate of cockroach is made. Well, now you have two people raising the four people. So, nice. Okay, maybe the girls right now say, oh, well, I'm not doing it. No, I'm not doing it. No way, 500, I'm not doing it. Uh, how about one million? One million? Yes. One million? More people are raising their hands now. Huh? More people are raising their hands. 
Everybody or not? At least, uh, raise your hands again. Let me see you. Yeah, good half of the class. Half of the class. You, you will you will ask what he doing right now because it's Kakarao. But why I say that? Because when I pay you 100, 200, and then both of y'all raise the hand, and then the other say, when I say Malian, most of the all do. And then why? Because we need to build our dream bigger. Um, don't accept our dream small. Oh, because I'm doing this one out, oh, small for me. Okay, no. We need to grow our dream. We need to make it huge. If you make a small dream, you will lose it easily. But if your dream bigger, you will stick with it. Make your dream. The person who doesn't raise your hand, how about if I tell you, if you don't eat this, the kakarot, I will take the person you most love, your mom, your dad, and then I will not give to you to tell you eat it. You will eat it or not? Huh? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Why? <laughs> because you compare, you lose things, it's like you, you eat this one because it's smaller more than you use, lose. You lose your, your love or your mom or your dad. You see, this is big. See, we don't need to lose easily. We need to be, be a winner. You know, we need to be, uh, if nothing make us like small thing, we go, oh, down, oh, I'm not able to continue. No, we need not let small thing bring us down. Like as I told you, like I lost my vision, <coughs> and then the vision is most thing, uh, and like to see, you see your life, you see your, your, your way to going, but I never get that. Today, what we will see, today, I need to have all of y'all sit, sit, uh, like we call it, I call it, like I call it, I can call it like multiple language buddy, but it's all of them like, I, I call them that because it's easy for us to memorize. We need to sit like, we call it a proud position. Right now in our life, unfortunately with the phone, with, you know, we, we sit all the time just look on the phone and then you don't attention. You don't, you know how we call the dopamine. You know the dopamine, y'all? The dopamine is, is the, the make you too heavy. Like make you, if you have, a little bit high dopamine, you are happy, you are excited. Let's sit today and then we bring the dopamine to make us happy and then you start more thinking. I need all of y'all sit and then make yourself like that. Like that, with that, like, just like that, like a few minutes. You call a proud position sit. And then I will give example for y'all. If person who, you call, you, uh, the person who give you use in a television, he said, how he sit? He sit like that. Why? Why? Because he's a proud. <coughs> if he sit like that and then he say, "Oh, today Texas, uh, uh, um, Texas uh, football, uh, like uh, one in uh, Minnesota," you will not accept the news from him because he read it slow and then he sit weird. But if he said he say Texas today one in Minnesota, you will accept the news. You will accept him from him, like because how he sit and then how he give you the information. You know, like this is, if you are sad, you feel like tired from anything, just sit and then the dopamine say, oh, what's going on? He, he's sad, but maybe I'm wrong. Let me, let me see how he sit. And then start go to, to your brain, like you be confident. The second one, I need all of y'all right now, the smile. Do you know the smile when you are smile? Like, it's, if all the religion say smile in front of your, uh, like the person even you don't know, smile in front of him. Give him a smile. Like, make yourself happy, you know? I need to right now all of you all look at each other and smile, just smile. <laughs> smile, you know, it's just your <laughs> friends, you know? William, you're not smiling over there. Yeah, I know. Hi, William. <laughs> they probably need to pay for it. You come on. Uh, God, God, He gave you this is mouth to smile for people. Who, you know, say hi. You know. Okay, right now we have two things. We have the smile in a proud position. 
if they come together, do you know what they do with the body? Do you know how help us? If you have a test, and then the professor, sorry, to, to Dr. Blanca, I'm going to use. <laughs> uh, if you have a test, and then the professor give me the test, and then look on you, and then you don't remember the, the, the formation. Just sit like that, and smile, and then the brain say, huh? What's going on? He smiled, <laughs> and he's confident. Maybe they're wrong with me. Maybe, huh? Let me go connect, ask myself. And then he changed how you think, how he call your formation, because you are not sitting like that, and sad, and then looks like, like you are mad. But if you go confident, even your teacher say, huh? Maybe I give him the question, not hard. Looks like in him or her, they smile and sit confident. What's wrong? Maybe the question not too hard. You know, just give yourself confidence. You know, the third one, <coughs> when you are breathe. Why, when we are a little bit tired, we start like yani? Like, why? Huh? Can you say that again? Okay, anything else? Stay awake. Stay awake. Anything else? Do you know why? In a car we have, we have engine, correct? What do we have? We have, I don't know how to say it in English, to put the water on, to make it cool for the engine. This is our brain. You need oxygen. He call for oxygen. He don't have enough oxygen to cool him down, right? Like when he, when he say, it's mean I'm hot. Breathe, release for me. Give me oxygen, and then you make you like all the blood get thick and tired because he don't have oxygen. He didn't, he didn't breathe accurate. You know, right now we need to try. We need to breathe deep seven times, and then we will see. Let's test it. It's true or not? To, like breathe to till like you, you, almost a blow, but and then, but the, but don't blow high because if I have the in front of you, will fly or something. <laughs> okay, let's start. Seven times. But make your belly high, okay? Again. Right now, it's our oxygen to say, oh, thank God, I breathe, I'm good right now. <coughs> what do you all feel? You feel different? It's like, this is how we should be when we sit, proud position, smile. When you are sad, we know you didn't accomplish something. We do this one. If you are sad from your wife, your dad, you, she mad from her husband, don't take action and rush do something. Just sit and do this practice. Trust me, you will change, you will come, you will remember things for test, everything. The last one I would like to teach because of the time, I would, you know what they call it? Everybody clap, please. The clap. Do you know last, last, Statistic the club give us a lot thing when people start like barely walking what we do Oh good 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 we give them courage and God he give us two hands not just one because one hand we can club with two hand we can club we, when, when person he gets scholar like he will go to, to the stage and then he say everybody clap for him he feel proud like he feel like I did something. And then right now you're asking me, well, this is the person when he goes to the stage, people clap for him, how about me? When you do something good, you clap for yourself. Go to the mirror. When you pass test, clap for yourself. Encourage yourself. No need but encourage you. You have two hands, clap for yourself. When, when your mom, she's sick, clap for her so she did well. Your kids, encourage him with a clap because this is how come. 
if you all would like to try it, I need one of the students come here and uh, well, like one of the volunteer. Uh, I would like volunteer come take it next to me. If someone can volunteer, who would like to come? Patricia's coming. Okay. What I need from you all, if Dr. Blank is mm -hmm. okay, of course. we need a cl clap for. No, not right now, not right now. No, stand here. <laughs> and then I will, one of you all, like just one, I need. And then I need to look on her, and then like look on her and clap and whistle and do what when you curse someone. Just for her. Don't look on me, just for her. All of you all, I need to look on her. Okay, and the club and whistle, what we're shouting, whatever do. And then when you kiss it, it's true or encouragement or not. Let's do it together, y'all. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> What you like you feel something, correct? Something like move you from inside, like you know, like some something like oh cool, I did this one, I need to do it more and more. Mm -hmm. This is how we should encourage ourselves. I have another language, like I would like to share with you Dr. Anna yes, or continue. Continue. Okay, I'm gonna go to my sleep. Yeah, okay. yeah. Like this is how you right now today we need to challenge ourselves and this week and this thing is giving. We need to do something for, for next class. One next class next Monday, correct? Mm -hmm. We need we need to promise ourselves we will like one for bad thing we do. Maybe we don't sit in a Facebook for six hours or seven hours. We don't go like get late sleep or let's study for three hours. Let's challenge ourselves and then we will clap for it. Like like today, I let's say, I, today I'm not going to watch my Facebook just five minutes a day. Who oh, 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 can do that? Just five minutes, all the day. Three, four, yes, and half, yeah. When you are, when you are do that, encourage for yourself, for you, you best for something like you did, like, oh, today I'm not going to smoke. For let people who smoke maybe like 30 cigars a day, today I'm going to just smoke 20. You win for one negative thing in your body. You, you, you be like, I say, oh, I passed this one. I was a little bit, I'm telling you, like a uh, little bit, I was like 215 pounds. And then, and it was like in July, June, July. And then like, <coughs> I was eating like, I eat normal, but I didn't wait, I don't know why. And then I say, well, I'm not going to eat too much bread. I promise myself. And then, not too much sweet. Maybe just dark chocolate a day, one. Because before I would eat chocolate, baklava, cake, whatever. Just come, I, and then I promise myself, I say I'm not going to eat the sugar thing. Right now, I lose, like I was 215 pounds, guess how much right now? It's 180. Because why? because I have intelligence. I say, I will do it, I will do it. My is like, don't <coughs> let, challenge your brain, because we have, we call it like, you know, like a subconscious, you know the subconscious? When you are la like, you have friends, and this friends gave you everything you need, like he's very nice to you. And then one day, you get mad at him, or flat for something. What he will have? It? The subconscious is jumped. It told you he's not a good person. It make you to forget the good thing he did for you. Okay, he make you to forget everything. But if you hold your subconscious, tell him no, he's my friend. He did good. Your brain start <coughs> say no, I'm wrong, and then he start bring you all the good thing he did with you. Your friends or your mom or your dad or your child. That don't we let the subconscious get be in top of us. We need in top of him. Because if you don't control our body, and then we will have like very termination, we will not be able to succeed in this our life. Like, like now, when we eat, do you think which one we will eat first? 
like the mouth, the hands, the eyes, what you, you all think? You will eat for two, you put your, the food in front of you. Huh? Your eyes. Huh? Eyes? Yeah. Okay, who else? Huh? Yeah. Okay, who else? Mouth? Okay. You throw. It says uh, the eye eat. The eye eat first. Why? Because since you put your plate, the eye interpret it to the brain. Hey, we, this is food. How much food come to you? And then the brain sends signal to the stomach. Hey, girl, open. This food come to you. <laughs> and then when when he say how much is it? And then he measure it. And then like okay. You open this mount and then give acid this mount. The brain interpret for her like a foreground. But what what happened? Why we why we get like a little bit? People say like why we get chubby a little bit? Because you eat too much. I don't think so. Why? Because we eat too fast. When you eat too fast, our first bite you didn't chew that much, and then went to the stomach, and then the brain say okay this 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 food is not heavy. Don't give more acid to to the, the, the um, to help the, the digest the food, you know. And then she <coughs> eat just first chew one, three chew one, and then you swallow it. And then the brain say, the hey girl, open, open. You don't have that, that this is not heavy food. And then she open, open, open to tell her, I'm full. He say, no, it's not heavy food. You will be hungry later. Mm -hmm. This is no. It's wrong to eat. If you need eat without giving weight, without doing like diet ourselves. When you eat, chew it 30 times, the box. 30. If before you eat it like in five minutes, like try to eat it in 15 minutes. And then the brain say, huh, what's going on? He's been eating 15 minutes, not full. Stomach closed. And then you will full, full without eating all the amount in front of you. You know, chew it 30 times, try it. Try it, and then this doctor of mine give her background, give her like, uh, told her, I tried this one this week, and then it's true or not. When you eat, just bite it, like two, 30 times, count for your, maybe if, if you count 30 times, 20 times, and then she'd see the difference. Eat what you want, but don't eat it fast, because let your saliva mix with your, your bite, and then you will see, it's delicious, and then 10 minutes, if you before you eat too much, you say, oh, close, and then you will say, oh, I was eating full the plate, right now I eat half. And then you will see, it is like more healthy and more strategy to eat. Because right now, in, unfortunately here in America, the time, because we are work, we are student, fast, fast, hamburger, hamburger, like quickly, like you think, oh, my class start, man. but no, so don't do that. Don't even take your time to eat, to process the food. Uh, this is what I have for you all today, the piece of advice, and then hopefully you all benefit from it. And thank you so much. Thank you. But now I want to open it up for questions. We have to stay here. I would love anything, anything from his story, anything he's shared with you today. Please ask him some questions. And just say your name when you're, when you, yeah. yeah. I'm Vivian. Um, the question I like it uh, when I lost my vision um, in, in Iraq it is unfortunate for you since you drop school you will never have opportunity more to go to school okay when God he opened the door in front of me and then come here and I have like now my school go back to me I don't want to lose it anymore I'm holding it like tight uh, I don't want to lose my dream anymore. My dream to be doctor. And then this was pick me up every day. Every day pass, I say, thank God I'm closer to my goal. And then do you know what? I will graduate 2000, um, 2026. And then I will be doctor. Why? I put, I put my goal there and then they say, oh, it's like eight years, nine years, what is coming? You see that I'm here in America, please. Put your goal. Don't, don't, if without goal, 
you're not able to, what are you doing? Like, just you go with the road, we don't have GPS. What your destination? What you need to reach from this life? This is what I do myself. Like, every day I say I'm closer to my goal. Today I pass this semester and go second semester. Pass it, it means I'm reaching my goal. Even, even one class a semester, I'm reaching my, my goal. Yeah, wonderful. Will had a question, but on an average, how many hours do you spend at the library or the computer lab or the learning center? Well, uh, trust me, even I don't take Sunday and Saturday at all. I go to, to the learning lab because I, ha I have challenges too. My challenges is English. It is very sucks for me. I'm not able to hold it. Like, I need to learn to how to read quickly and then type very fast. This is spent all my time in the learning lab after my classes. And then like just sit there, read, uh, talk to friends a little bit, uh, just be in a school to be like, get too used to it. Honestly, right now, probably you hear me when I call my right. I told her I need to go to my second home. Even I did mention her to her school. She knows, oh, okay, you know, to ICC. Because I want to be steady for myself. I not steady for my dad and my, my, because when formation is for me, tomorrow one person asking me, oh, I say, do you know this formation? I will able to answer to them. Because when you study, when you get your certificate or a doctor or a master, this is for you. No one, you will delete your name and then put his name. No, this is still for you. When you need to be like this life, beautiful, enjoy it. Because this is temporary life, you know? Like it's very temporary, but we need to live it with love and happiness. Thank you. Will, you have a question. Uh, first off, thanks for uh, taking the time out to share your story with us. And uh, I was just wondering if you came to uh, Texas first when you uh, left, Iraq, or left Jordan. Yes, I will tell you. I came in airplane and from Jordan directly to New York. When I came, I told you I don't speak English. But when I went out from the airplane, I don't know what I do. No vision. No friends, just God. And then I started to turn left, right, where I'm going. And then in Jordan, they put me badge. He just arrived, they wrote on it. He didn't speak English. Just it. And then, but in our life, we find beautiful, nice people. The reason why I say America great, because always you find people. And then I get, uh, because my destination in Austin, yes. I slept one night in a hotel in New York and come to Austin. But they determined from Jordan. If I'm going to New York or Austin or, yeah, they determined from uh, Jordan. I come to Austin. Mm -hmm. But can you imagine in New York City no. not speaking English <coughs> and not being able to see and then you're dropped off there? Yeah, the reason why I'm saying, like, y'all, it's a blessing from God. You don't know. Uh, I know I people, oh, I don't like school, I don't like be succeed in my life because you didn't, you all didn't see other country. Honestly, we are here, we are on top, like for many countries because we, have, we are blessed, we have school, we have food, we have everything we need. We have computer, trust me, I didn't use the computer to try to come here, okay? I don't know the computer, I saw it, but I didn't use it. You know, see like the education here. Uh, Listen from God here in America. We have all the knowledge or the technology to help us. You know, uh, the reason why right now I'm just to get my my PhD, if God willing, and then to help others. Like my goal, the doctor she asking me, Jose, you like to sit in office or what you do like when you graduate? I say no. I need to travel. I love to travel. I travel here in. And now uh, in America, I travel like every month. I go and give speeches in multiple different organizations. Uh, I travel a lot. I travel alone in airport. I ask people. Every, every time you find people, nice people, ask them, hey, where are the gates? Where, you know, they, they help me, you know? Uh, but then when my goal is like to tell you all, like here we have everything we need. We need to get advantage from it. This is today for you, available tomorrow maybe not. Take advantage from first opportunity. 
don't wait because the opportunity come once. It didn't come twice. When you have opportunity for think, but before you take it, analyze it in your head. It's, it's correct. Count it like math, like algebra equation. If it come correct for you, take it. Don't don't be hesitant. My dad, my dad, he's uh, rejected twice. My my come here. One, I get the ticket. I put it in my bucket and come to him. He was visiting me in Jordan, and then I told him, Dad, uh, I will travel. He said, Okay. He thought like I'm joking with him. Sorry. Is this my phone? No. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he thought like I'm uh, I'm joking with him. He said, Where? I said, I'm going to go to the land again. And then he said, How? And then I showed him the ticket. And then he said, No, you will not go. I say, why? He say, because you don't know the language, you are blind, uh, you don't know anybody there, you get lost. And then I told him, well, but I need to go uh, see my life. And he said, no, he started crying. And then when I saw him crying, I said, don't worry, I'm not going. Because I, I, I obey my dad a lot. Because God, he said, if you obey your family or your parents, you will have the heaven. And then I told him no. And then I went to the company, like <coughs> I want. I told him, thank you, I don't need the ticket because this the situation happened. And then um, I turned the ticket back. And then three months, he went back to Iraq. And then I went to fly again. And then I get the ticket back probably like after six months. And then I called my brother. I told him, just convince my dad, please, let me go. And then he, they told him, let me let him go. He said, he have this dream? Let him go. And then he called me and said, what's the news I heard? I said, Dad, I know I love you. Please, let me go. He said, this time, since you are determined for this decision, do it. And then, thank God, he said, I pray for you. And then I came. And then, thank God, like, I tell you, like, I find nice people like you all help me, um, take me to the class. Uh, uh, teach me the system for the boss. Make me like more confident. How much I have confidence? I came before more confident. And then I come learn every day. Every day I learn something. You know, no one, no one, he know everything. Just God, he know the everything. But we learn every day. You know, and they have example in, in Chaban. They say, if you have one dollar and I have one dollar and then exchange the dollar, we did it benefit. But if you have idea, and I have idea, we exchange the idea, both of all, we have two ideas right now. Usually like, like share with people what you have, because you will learn from others too. You know? More questions. Because um, I said 57 surgeries you had to undergo. 57, and then I have. Mama. 50, uh, 58, you will be, I will have surgery in December, in December 15, next, next, next month. Uh, 50, it will be 58, that one. Uh, the most surgery I get, I get one here in, uh, uh, in Breckenridge, 17 hours, it's 17. They open my head, and my doctor, she say, 10 hours, your brain working offset, like we see your brain. Thank God, since God he gave me, uh, my brain is still with half with me. Uh, I thank him every day. You know, I will tell you right now something and then probably say he's crazy. If you right now you have no doctor, he told about vision, like turn back my vision back to me, I tell you thank you and I need it. Because I'm happy what I have. I'm happy what I'm doing. No need it, why? The vision is not, not making me have a stick out from go reaching my goal. Usually be satisfied with what you have. Like imagination, how many people who can wear his clothes by him by himself? How many person who cannot go to the bathroom by himself? You can go. You take a shower by yourself. How many person who cannot take a shower by himself? We have God, he give us a lot of things. We should thank him every single day. God, he give uh, eyes, nose, uh, hearing, movement, arm to help. But we didn't thank. 
what we have. To so two, what, what the other person, when you say a person, you can't walk, oh, thank God I have life. But you should thank him every day what we have. I thank him every day. I say, thank God what you gave me. And then you block me what I have right now. You know, but just with yourself, someone who have butcher, or someone blind like me, I'm a blind. I can't see the door where it is right now. Oh, I can't see the face for y'all. But I can feel the movement from y'all, the heart, the, the thing y'all feel. Uh, thank God he gave me this one. He gave me an orphan. I can't tell the person if he's a nice person since he talked to me right away. I have sensor telling me, oh, this is a good person, this one not. Trust me, even some person like to make joke. Even behind me, he talk. I feel him if he's doing joke on me or for somebody else. <coughs> because God, when he takes something, he gave them the rest. Thank you. We have one more question. Justice? And we have more time, so please. Yeah, Justice. yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm joy to share with you all. Uh, and then I'm open book for everything you can ask me. I'm uh, happy to answer. Um, I just wanted to ask, how was it for you growing up? Iraq. What's already? I wanted to ask, how was it for you growing up in Iraq? Going up, like Gro growing oh, up, growing up. Uh, first of all, my family not really at all. We have farm. We have sheep. Uh, One thousand five hundred sheep. We have camels. We have cows. All the animals to tell tell us that. <laughs> uh, we was happy like. Uh, Wake up in the morning, you hear all the farm, all the chicken, all the thing. And then each person, he know his job. Like you take your sheep outside, uh, or you feed the, the, the cows, or you feed, like, and then I have five brothers and one sister. And my dad is retirement. Uh, I was go to school. Uh, after 2000, uh, we, 2003, in a war, we lost my, because it, two years come famine, we don't have rain, we lose everything. We sell everything, and then we move to the inside, the downtown, because we was in a village when uh, uh, we have the sheep and farm. Uh, after 2003, we moved to the, to the downtown, and then we start like, my brother, he gets like employee job, and then uh, I'm go to school, and another brother is like, all my brothers like it, mm, employee, and then I have two, they are younger than me, they still go to school too. And then I would like just answer a few questions. When Dr. Blanket, he asked you all about Iraq. Uh, I hear just one positive. Uh, I would like to talk about Iraq. Iraq, before 2003, it was the top country in the Middle East. It was the knowledgeable, all the residents from Arabic, Egypt, Libya, Yemen, Sudan, Jordan, they all of them came study in Iraq. You know why I call it algebra? 